Was a, oh, there you go, look. All over it now. Easy, should have 10 pound in here. then guys we couldn't let the season end without having one final session in this city centre we're going to do some absolute bagging today hopefully it's prime full of fish let's go see what we can do shall we let's go all right then guys so we're back on the pole because i just wanted a productive day today start off with one maggot a little bit colder i'll show you the rig when i bring it back in if we can catch a fish first. A little bit milder than last time we was here. Freezing last time we was here. First put through, can we catch a fish? Should do. Maybe not. Not a bite, no. Put a tiny bit of bait in already. Just to see if there's out lingering around. Should get going. Might just take a bit of fettling, maybe. We'll soon see. Two put throughs without a fish. This could be troublesome. This could be troublesome. Every time I've ever been here, it's just been absolute solid. That's a snag. That is a snag. Brought a little bit of ground bait with me, we'll just bob a bit of that in. Bring them over. Ooh. No fish. I don't think I've ever had more than one put through without a fish. Just have to work at it, get them going. Out of it all. That's a snag art. Yeah, we're gonna just fettle a bit and hopefully we can get into a couple. Quick look at the rig first. Fishing extra light today. Two gram Mava pencil float, three pound main line, little one and a half gram olive down to a pound and a half up length. Size 16 hook and one red maggot. And that hopefully should do the biz. a little bit carry on if first fish man I was getting nervous there you know 
obviously it's a disc. Boom. Getting nervous there we were. We had a good few run through we had a good few run throughs before we even saw that fish. Put a couple of red maggots on and that seemed to just done trick. Just keep the bait going in. Emp and maggots. Brought a little bit of corn just in case you start getting into those big roach. Because they seem to love a piece of corn down here. Boom. She's low and clear though. I think that's what's put them off a little bit. You're better off that time when I had like that 30 pound. It'd been up like right up maybe four or five foot in it there you go look oh they're here now and it come back down it still had a bit of color running through it but those fish were hungry and i mean hungry boom two in a row that little chublet no it's a dish boom might get a couple of pound on go now. That's what we want. We just changed the two red maggots. I remember last time we was here, they wouldn't take out but one red maggot. And today they're liking two. And we'll stick with what they're liking. a decent bit of sport when they get going. Found a couple of snags but we'll stay away from them. I sort of know where they are. That was a, oh, there you go look. All over it now. All over it now. This is what we want. Soon put a weight together. People always ask me as well about parking down here. I mean, by the time this video is released, you won't actually be able to come down here, so it'll kind of be pointless. But you have to park miles away. If you know York, you have to park in Fulford and walk all the way over, which is it's a 20 minute walk. But when you get here, you're bagging. The only other problem you'll face is yobbos. People drunk and stuff, which is why we come midweek, early doors, and you don't see any of it. Because there's been a few occasions where I've had yobbos down here and it's been an absolute nightmare. Look at these now, look. I don't know where they've come from, but they're here. Oh, it's come off. It's come off. Good at shaking. Look, a dace. Same as bleak. That seem to be here. We'll crack on. Then the close season is next week. Ugh. Be on ponds, man, for the first time since last May. Only a year. Well, we're going to do a bit of travelling about, see what happens. Might get out this Sunday as well for another little session on the ooze, but that'll probably be a bit more bream fishing, maybe. And then we're on the Trent. Last minute barbel fishing like last year, which we actually managed to bag up last year. Last day at season it was. Don, Don managed a new PB. 11 pound odd barbel. I caught a barbel at least. 
Only a few pounds, but that's what we went for. Boom, man, they're on it now, they're on it. So maybe 10 run throughs without a single indication. And then wham. They turned up. Look at that, look at that man. Oh, it's even got out there. This is what it was like before. You put a little bit of bait in, you work at your peg a little bit, and they turn straight up, they come straight to that food. Bang. Didn't even get it out there. Another thing I've noticed as well, and it does not matter which day of the week I come down here, and you see them people smoking over there, look at that pub. They will be there. Every single time I've been down here over the last couple of years, they have been in that pub and they will be out smoking every two minutes. I'm talking 40 fags a day. Look at that. Oh, it's come off again. It's come off again. I remember last time as well, I was flicking mashed maggots back out there, there was that many fish, and there was just hammering it. Hammering it. They have come straight up to that bit of food there. You've got to be on them though, that's why I don't like fishing the float rod, because there's too much slack in line before you connect with the fish. And you'll miss half the fish that take the bait. Whereas this, you can just connect with them straight away like that. And you're bagging. Don't care if the babbies. They'll do. Why does it sound like everyone's driving about in Ferraris today, man? What's going on? maggots if they get proper going I'll put one on because it just I can hook them better put two on it shrouds hook a little bit and you don't see as many fish Thing you never see down here is pike which I'm always surprised about that's a better fish better dace might not be a swinger but we'll give it a whirl yeah they're the ones we want look cut them for a stamp of dace then good few ounce dace perfect they're the weight builders right there and usually big roach out far behind them. I did mention about yobbos and that before on the long walk, but don't let that put you off, man. All of this water's completely free to fish. And full of fish. Full of them. We're getting one a put, man. Which is what we want. Last time we came before before Christmas, oh, it was absolutely freezing. It was like a bit of wind coming through that bridge there, and I had to stop every like five or ten minutes. Bites all over there, mash them maggots. Watch this though. I would have to stop every five or ten minutes just to warm my hands back up. It was awful. It kind of put me off fishing for a while, and then. I started dying after that, which was a nightmare. Look at that look, they don't care about them mashed maggots. These fish will take these red maggots all day long. We'll 
a bag all day long. Yeah, man. I've been bagging, to be fair. I've been catching loads, to be fair. I'll just come and grab me a bottle of water. Oh, just bits like dace and that, you know what I mean? Can't go wrong. Nice to meet you, buddy, anyway. Yes, how are you? Yeah, man. Grab me a bottle of water. <laughs> hey, you've been getting out, haven't you? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah, a couple of times at Elton, and then I went with my mate up to that pond at home. Right. Uh, what's it called? Redwood, is it? Oh, yeah. Cart place. Yeah. Gatch out. It's a nice little, you know, like, um, cold tea or something. Tea. T um, T1s or something? Oh, F1s. F1s. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Quite a few of them. Yeah, you catch all day there. Uh, just using green ground bait. Right. On Worm and Red Maggot. I always use green there. Yeah, yeah. My dad goes up there, I like, quite a lot to be fair. In summer, though. It's heaving in summer, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, it's usually full, like, but you catch a lot, you know what I mean? Well, it's, you always catch there, don't you? you yeah. Can't, you, can't, it's some, you can't blank there, but there is some biggins in there. We always fish, fish the big one, what goes around. Like, yeah, yeah, I know which one you, know, you mean, like yeah. The, the donut-like thing. I'll be at places like that myself after close season, nightmare. I know, you can't beat River, can you? I mean, nah. You can't yeah, I know, it's perfect. I, I come before Christmas and I almost died it was that cold. Yeah. But today I'm fine today, you know what I mean? It's mild as out, really. There's no wind, which is what we want, because that's what kills you off. I just like sitting with legend, just, but you know, feed it. That's yeah, it's, doing, it's really. good for that right ear as well, to be fair. You'll bag up, man, you know what I mean? Especially yeah. when it's a bit warmer. Here, like. Oh, yeah, yeah, all day. I mean, they don't really go above three pound here. They're the more skimmery sort of, yeah. you know, one to three pound sort of things. But if you go Skelder Gate steps, catch it right, you'll you bag them up to five pound. So I couldn't believe it was like that down there. Yeah, you know, yeah. That night video you did when you pulled all them bream out. Yeah, it was a good day, I mean, that. I couldn't understand. I mean, I sent my dad it and he said I didn't know you could catch bream like that. Yeah, loads. I've seen hundred pounds come out of there before now. Do you know what I mean? Thing, guys, we're still at it. Just met Richard there. Richard's a subscriber. We've had a bit of a back and forth on the Adams Fishing Adventure Facebook page. He just collared me in town. Had a little chat there, nice guy. Thanks for watching, Richard. Watch me bag up for a good half an hour. A little bit of a breeze just come along, which has made it a little bit of a nightmare. But we're still bagging. Which is what we want. Boom. Solid. And it's weird how it goes from... There can be certain days where you'll catch roach, perch, chub, everything, dace. And then there's other days, like today, where all you will catch is dace. And that is all we have caught today few decent ones among them just predominantly dace probably easy doing my best ever dace bag my best ever dace bag was £10 and I was just messing about this is the way to do it we've been keeping that bait going in But I find you feed maggots, they tend to go off a little bit because they're eating them maggots that you're putting in whereas you just feed the end. Keeps them there waiting for those maggots. Left, right and centre they are. This was happening before as well where on the ship out we was catching fish just before I'd even got going. Oh, bumped it, bumped it. That maggot smashed, but we'll still catch fish on it. Watch this. 
this has been the best example as well of how fish can turn up to bait because I say when we first started I must have had 10 run throughs before I even had a bite we fed a bit of bait a little ball of ground bait and wham they turn straight up I will catch a fish on this mashed maggot you watch they don't care what they eat Only thing with pull, you gotta ship it all the way back in, all the way back out. I'd rather just fish with a mash maggot, and there you go, look. It's like a better one as well. I don't care. A bit of a better one. I'll give it a few more hours yet yeah, man fishing like this eh? it's gonna be our last little trip in town for a while for months unfortunately close season but we've got a good few ideas for places to go in close season don't worry about that But for now, we're bagging. Don't get any better than this right here. Every put through, will I catch a fish? One red maggot, I find the fatter the maggot, the bigger the fish. I and mean, if you get sick of them, if you're getting little, you get tattered by them little ones like ounce things, put two maggots on and it just separates those bigger fish out. You could fish caster, like I said earlier, but you just don't seem to catch as many fish. Weird. It'll go through three times before you get one bite. Fair enough, they're a slight better stamp, but I want to fish every cast. We want to fill the net. Like that. Dear Saroonies. Need a new oak lamp on here, really. This one's, see how it's just got a little bit of kinks in it. No good. So I'll put a new oak lamp on in a minute. It's just from all bagging. Look at that. All day. Pull in, pull in. Yeah. What are you using for me? Maggots. Oh no, I just... I just put them back when I finished. Oh, when yeah, yeah. Oh, probably 100. 100? Oh, easy. Easy. Any big insects? Nah, they're only so big you know what I mean they don't get too big yeah. plenty of them though keeps you busy yeah man
I was thinking this when I was in Amsterdam the other week and I was wondering if people there would ask me about fishing as well and they did and it's just got fishing has got some weird lure about it where like normal like civilians normal non-fishing folk who are usually like I wouldn't dare go fishing I couldn't stand staring at a float and now happening all day blah 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 we assume it's like that but then every man and his dog regardless of the go fishing or not ask you what crack is it's got some weird lure about it and then if you actually catch a fish especially in a place like this it's a better fish you will draw a crowd will draw a crowd it's foul look that's why it feels bigger all these people that are like we're not interested in fishing but they'll soon stand behind you and watch you drag some fish in that many fish look we foul looked it time for a new oak length I think I think we're gonna bag on for another couple of hours and I shall see you for the way in. Let's keep going. Great then guys, let's have a look what we've bagged, shall we? Have a look what we've got. He should have 10 pound in here. Easy should have 10 pound in here. Oh yeah, there's ten pound there. <laughs> Ish. Ish. Oh, easy. Nine pound. <laughs> Good day. Maybe ten pound. There's some decent ones among them. They're heavy. Every one of them was this. Every single one of them good bag of days right there send them back get them scatter Meow. good day good day thanks for watching the video guys if you enjoyed it I'd really appreciate you going down below, smashing that like button. Also, maybe consider subscribing, and I'll see you in the next episode.